So you're here because you want to learn how to build a simple web application in Ruby uh, using the Sinatra web framework. It's a good choice. So I'm going to teach you. So the first thing you need to do when you're making a new application is to create a project directory for it. It's just, it's the home where you keep it. So um, in this case, I have a directory called learn. And inside Learn, that's where I put all my sample apps, where I, you know, I'm just learning, trying out new technologies. So in this case, we're going to learn Sinatra. So I'll make a directory called Sinatra. Sinatra. There we go. CD into Sinatra. And so now we have our project directory. And the first file that I normally make when I'm making a sample Sinatra application is just, it's called app.rb. So I'll make it now. App.rb. Touch is a command that you can use to make files. So when I touch app.rb, when I'm making that file, um, that's really going to be the central repository of um, everything that we're going to make into the in the app. Um, it's where you it's the heart of it. So unlike a Rails application, if you've ever messed around with Rails where you have to um, you know install the Rails thing and then say Rails new and it creates all these files and folders. Um, with the Sinatra application it, you make everything yourself. It doesn't really generate any files for you and so in that way it's a lot simpler um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use vim to edit app.rb and so I'm gonna go into insert mode and then the first line is require Ruby gems Ruby gems is the system that we use to uh, download gems which are bas basically like little snippets of Ruby code and so Sinatra is the Ruby gem that we're going to use Sinatra so we're requiring that. So we have the library of code, the Sinatra library. Um, and then from here on out, now that we've got uh, Sinatra, we're going to include it in this file. We're going to uh, go ahead and create the application. And so basic hello world basically uh, is, is very simple. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the code and show you the output. And then I'll explain what the code does. So, so first things first, I'm just going to write it now. Get to... All right, and that's it. So let's write that file, quit out of it, and then do ruby app.rb. Uh-oh, we have an error. What is the error? It's We have to learn how to uh, read these things. It says, cannot load such file Sinatra. Why is that? Oh, we don't have Sinatra. OK, so gem install Sinatra. We have to type that in order to in use Ruby gems to install the Sinatra library on our computer. So now I'm going to gem install Sinatra. It's going to start loading it in and downloading it. Um, and so if you don't already have Ruby gems installed in your computer, it's pretty easy. I'll have a link uh, where you can go to install it. But basically, just do gem install Sinatra. Now let's try rubyapp.rb. Okay, so now we're seeing something. It says uh, Sinatra has taken the stage on 4567 for development. So let's check out localhost 4567. And we see, hello world. All right. Okay, let's look. Let's dig a little deeper into how that code works. Let's let's look at how what, what it says. So I'm gonna use the cat command to print out the contents of our app.rb file. And so you can see right here. Here's all the code. Here's all it is. So line one, require Ruby gems. We're requiring uh, requiring. The, the Ruby gem system. Line two are requiring the Sinatra framework that's getting us importing basically all the code we need um, that sets up this this later. This is the heart of the app though. So to understand this next line you need to understand a bit about how HTTP works. There's different types of requests that your client can send to a server. Um, the type of request that this is is git. So if a browser sends a git request, which is normally used for like getting data as opposed to like posting data, when someone sends a git request to the root URL, so like yourdomain.com just slash slash nothing, basically the home page, as opposed to like slash about or slash plans or whatever, when someone sends a git HTTP request to the root URL, then do all of this code right here. And then end is basically where it says stop doing stuff when someone sends a GET request to the root URL. And so all we're doing when someone sends the request to a root URL is printing out hello world. And so what else could we do? Let's 
print out something else. A boring example would be to like say something else, but let's do something interesting. Let's prove that this is real code. So maybe we can name a variable like um, at hello equals hi there and then uh, say hello. Actually, here's a better idea. Let's say name. A name equals for now, I'll just do it this way. Nathan. I mean, hello plus name. All right, let's see what this does. So let's Ruby app.rb. And basically, what this means is we're telling the program Ruby to execute the code app.rb. And we go back to Chrome, localhost 4567. It says, hello, Nathan. So you can see we had the variable in here. Well, let me X out of it so we can see it again. But uh, we had the variable here at name equals Nathan and then hello plus at name. So you can see you can basically execute any code you want to uh, inside this get and do brackets. And so that's just the tip of the iceberg here. There's a lot more of interesting things you can do uh, with Sinatra. So um, and in future future episodes, I may go into more detail. But for now. This is all. This is an introduction to Sinatra. You can learn on your own now. Goodbye.